everybody and welcome back thank you for joining me for another episode of ephemeral tell we are back in the traveler's respite i jumped back here using a fragile recall rune to check out a few things i have siegfried with me here but i grabbed a few of those translation tombs i had an item here it was uh let me talk to animals i believe is what it said yes here we can talk to animals and then i thought this tomb here we can talk to someone maybe he knows something a little bit about it so let's check yeah handing me a tome i'll take a look hmm it appears to be an index of some sort ah uh, i think these are names yes it appears to be a list of names where did you find this in a crypt filled with gold you say i imagine this might be some sort of index of royal lineage then a way to keep track of who sit or sat in this case upon the throne during my travels i met a strange fellow in a white hood i can't recall what their name was he told me of a great city called Esten. this great city however held a dark secret at its core you see, the ruler of Esten had fallen ill from a curse at some point. The city's best scientists were put before him, and over time were able to discover a solution, a temporary measure that would buy him time needed to live the rest of his days without the fear of the curse. The scientists had developed a way to diminish the effects of it. While the specifics are unclear, they had found a way to impart the affliction of the curse onto something else. Their plan was simple, impart the curse onto this separate object, and then when the ruler died, they could simply move the curse back to his body. But, see, the ruler would end up having an heir. The curse was hereditary. None could have foreseen this, but the result was the same. This object had now been designed to hold twice the amount of ill, but with no reprieve of any sort failure was inevitable over time the curse grew in strength and became twisted changing shifting into new things and attempts to break its bonds eventually it was successful it took many cycles of the moon but the curse would shatter its cage and when it did seemingly like a crack of lightning Esten simply vanished well that's interesting I've not the faintest idea how a curse that made the afflicted ill go into thing that could render an entire city into naught. Quite frankly, it sounds ludicrous, but that fellow in the hood, I suspect the curse spoken in the tale may be what ails a dear friend of mine as well. Perhaps Esten never vanished, but instead changed somehow. If so, it may merely be occluded from us instead of gone if you'll excuse me i'd like to collect my thoughts for a bit interesting so we got a little bit of a story going on there quite an interesting story i don't think he gives us any more information and can channel channel my power let's go ahead and do that yeah he'll be able to give me a few skill gem gets and then i also have those skill scrolls as well i can use to get some more let's go through this i had eight thousand powers scroll of power that's it so this would get me a three more and then i can look at the skill tree and see what we got help us out a little bit there i don't know if my comrade or companion levels up same as i do i don't know if he just kind of i don't know just stays with my same level or what it's never really said in the game any what the level of your companion is HP up, guard up. That's going to be awesome. Guard. Regenerate a small portion of your MP when you guard. That's kind of cool. 
stats up definitely agility luck up let's see how far we can get another stats up attack and defense definitely more over than magic defense but we will get to the magic defense next time and a flask charge will be very useful as well it basically goes like this we get a couple abilities and keeps on going i have never seen the end i've never reached the end of the skill tree in playing through this so i'm interested if what will happen if something happens differently or you just come to the end of it i was wondering if he would say in oh it lets me talk to animals can i talk to the pupper now no he's just still the small yeah still just says wolf wolf there i would like to also come up here and visit these two people again trying to just go back through and see what we can do and what we can find if we have any more information breadcrumbs i still don't have any breadcrumbs i would like to see what this witch does she lets us put items in there deserve better so i'm gonna work a little bit harder for you but first i need you to get me a cup of my voodoo juice now to keep an extra vat of juice in a hidden section of the corrupted castle you see there's a gravestone that could be moved that hides a secret cave well we could try and see looking to brew up some i have some spare weapons let's see what we got here we definitely have a lot that we're not going to use here and i really like that they either put this in at some point or it's always been here i really like it i just i've never seen it before so let's grab some of these high level items and see if we can make something really good let's get a crystal we're not going to use these crystal tapped stabs and the children's slingshot we're not going to use that either so let's throw that one in there i wonder what if anything these things do to i wonder if it matters which items we pick yeah if it somehow uses the items that we pick to make something good we got a swashbuckling rapier level 25 i guess that's not a bad thing i don't know what it does wow lowers my magic intimidate skill that's interesting but i was hoping for something actually a little bit better than that but we'll we'll go on we'll see what else we could do I also wanted to talk to oh get down through come on we can get down through there can't we somehow we can get back down through there I want to talk with him it tells me I need five or so I was couldn't remember how many he needed I know yes you've got those sure it really doesn't tell me gave me some potions which is nice but still doesn't really tell oh oh he left so he's going to go i guess get some items for us that we could buy i kind of skimmed over what he was saying i know we have to go into the corrupted castle but i kind of want to finish out the occluded oasis first so let's jump in there and see if we can finish that up first and then we'll go back into the corrupted castle now the way we need to go is up this way some way there's another chest 
Is that not a way? Okay. Nope. I can't get through there, I guess. The chest that we can get to, but I don't think we really need to grab it. That's a special chest that can... No, I don't want a magic. Uh, a chest that comes up every once in a while that is useful or can be useful. It's just an extra chest, basically. Random chest. The way to the next switch. Oh, there's the rare enemy. Let's see if we can taunt him. Oh, it's on me. Yeah, let's go and double strike because I want to try to get him to stay here because you get special stuff here if you kill the, or you have a chance to get special items if you kill the rare creature. Full of power, nothing. I got a recall rune, which is good. Nothing great. But you do have a chance. Was there, a, is that just a cactus back there? I guess so. It kind of looked like something special. There was that cave that we went into. And then up there was nothing. Wow, that was a nice hit. Kind of just hoping to hold on till we get our level so that we can get we're getting close we need 503 more can i go i can't go that way but maybe it's off this way come on nope that's not what i wanted to do i haven't been down there yet as you can see that treasure chest is not unlocked. Oh, there it is. I found, I knew it was up some way. And then I think it's all the way back to the beginning. Is there a way down in that area? Because I'd like to see what that treasure chest is. I'm a little worried. He has a lot less life than I do. Come on. Definitely need some more of those little there's the shell fragments. There it is. Grab this treasure chest and that other treasure chest up over here. And hopefully it's not a mimic. Ha, ah, lucky scroll. Awesome. I don't want to increase my drop chance. Oh, this is not going to be good. These guys are tough. They hit hard. I'm hoping maybe I can get rid of one. There we go. That worked out really well, and we should level up, I think, here. Because we were just off of it. We we're getting just under 200 each time. Oh, we are three away from it. Oh, so close. How do we get back over? <laughs> that's That's the tricky thing. Remembering that whole path. These guys again. This definitely should do it here. Ooh, sheesh. Oh, we are so close to dying. Ha ha, there we go. Just enough. Woo. That was, that was really close. And then we need to go all the way around. And I believe 
kind of the area we need to get to is near the beginning. That cleave really does help. I have like, well, I was gonna say a lot more, but not as m more than I, I have less more than what I thought I did, if that makes any sense. That is where we need to go, right there. Is the end of the included oasis. The one thing the witch didn't tell us is that witch gravestone could be moved. What am I looking at? How's my power and stuff? We're all right, I think. Murky water rolls strangely around the edge of the pool. Disturb the pool of water. Yep. What is it that jumps? King Pinch. Oh, for some reason, I don't recall him at all. Well, we're going to do is set him on fire and I'm going to have him do the cleave, hopefully to help take care of the side guys is what I'm hoping is going to happen. But I don't know if that's going to go well here because that cleave is not enough. to kill all of them at one time. What if I switched? Yeah, this is not going well here. They seem to be healing somehow. Here we go, we got him out, there we go. That's good. That's definitely helpful, there we go down to one i didn't expect it to kill that guy that easily or the big guy there's an item at the edge of the water there's the last blessing that i needed ah oh, my everlit candle broke no i don't want to not right now i have one other one uh somewhere I know I have one that is perfect or not perfect. What's the word? Infinite durability. There it is. It's only a 17, but still, I mean, it's infinite durability. You got that. We need to go into the... corrupted castle still and we still don't have enough shell fragments either i don't believe so we're gonna have to see if we can find all the shell fragments what do we got we got a royal jelly and a primal jelly we got four of them so we need like one more i think i guess we're gonna have to come back here and see if we can get the occluded oasis some other time That is going to end our episode there and we'll have to see, try to get into the Corrupted Castle next episode so that we can see what we can do with the witch and see what her new thing is going to do. He needs five or so and we have four. What does he have now? Old friend here, I told you I'd be back. Anyway, here to shop, or are you just here for some chatting? A rare delicacy came across my path. Can you believe my luck? I practically won the lottery. Of course, I'd be willing to part with it for the right price. See? What do you got here? Ooh, a breadcrumb! We need that. Let's go ahead and grab the bread. Can I get more than one? No. That's fine. We don't need any fragile recall runes and we don't really need to chat right now, but we're going to throw back in here and see what that guy has to say. And then we're, you know what? Let's leave a little suspense. We got our breadcrumbs. We're going to come back in the next episode, 
check out the corrupted castle to find that which is hiding place and see what his breadcrumbs are all about thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and i will see you in the next episode bye everybody